All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create block letters. And so the very first thing, you need to make sure that you have the correct worksheet, the one that has the horizon line right in the middle of the page, and then the vanishing point should be more towards the right. So over here, this is the vanishing point. And then please make sure that you are writing the uh, drawing technique at the top. One point perspective is equal to either you're drawing one square first or one rectangle, depending on what shape you are making. And so over here, I have a few squares. Those are going to be cubes. And then over here, I have my two rectangles. They will be rectangular prisms. Then we're going to be adding four rays, one vertical line, one horizontal, one vertical, and one horizontal. Now, since we are making uh, block letters, these rules may apply, but we might actually end up adding a few more rays or a few more uh, lines, depending on what letter you're creating. And so right now, the very first step to creating block letters is to draw your first shape. So either those squares or those rectangles. From here, instead of jumping right into the four rays, what I would encourage you to do is right here on the front face of each of these um, shapes to draw the uh, shape that you, I'm sorry, the letter that you are wanting to create in a, as a form. Okay. So take, for example, you can freehand this or you can use the ruler. So for this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to make this the letter I right here. I think this looks great from over here for the letter I, I'm going to go ahead and you know what at the quarter inch here and then at the quarter inch at the top i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then same idea over here and same idea over here and then i'm just going to go ahead and bring it in okay i think that works pretty good i might have to Add a little bit more there. Then from here all the way up. Then from here all the way up. Then just lining up my ruler again. And so now I've created the letter I. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase these lines that I no longer need. Because now the rectangle no longer exists. It's just going to be the block letter, the I. You can also freehand this if you'd like. Um, so if we were creating, let's say, um, the letter R, right? So we might go ahead and from right here, this might be where we kind of want this to start. And then maybe we have it something like that right then we can go in with our ruler and then we can clean it up so over here right here i'm going to clean up this little edge here for the curved areas that we're just going to have to kind of freehand and so now this is curved and now that's curved and so now we can go in and we can erase these lines that we no longer need because they don't actually exist, this is just going to be the letter R, okay? And so from here, now we can go ahead and we can start adding the rays to create the actual uh, form, the dimension of these letters. So we're gonna go in and at each corner, we are adding that ray, okay? So over here, lining up the corner to the vanishing point, I'm not going to bring it all the way to the vanishing point. I can see right here that it's perfectly lined up um, and I'm going to be erasing the rays that I no longer need anyway. So I just, I'm going to save myself the trouble. And so right here, this is a corner. This is a corner too. This is a corner as well. This is a corner as well, you guys. Make sure you're not forgetting that. And then this one has a corner, but we wouldn't actually be able to see it. Right, it would be on the inside. And so now we have our rays, and this time we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rays. Okay, so there are eight rays. Oh, plus one more actually, because it's right here. There. So here's four corners, here's four corners. We have our eight rays. All right. 
Now we're going to go in with our vertical line. So over here, I'm going to show you. Those should be kind of connected over here. Then these would be kind of connected right there. Right. Then from there, we would be connecting the edges with, or well, the bottoms, right, with the horizontal line. So there's that one. So we're going to go ahead and erase that. There's our one horizontal line accidentally erased from right here. Right? So we have our rays. We have our vertical lines right here. Now our horizontal line. Lovely. Our next vertical line should go over here. Check. And then our next horizontal should be right here. Lovely. And there's actually going to be one more additional vertical line. And it's going to be right here because we see this is a corner here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add it. This horizontal line is actually this horizontal line, but because this is indented, we have to kind of draw it separately so that it shows that indent. And so now if we're looking at this uh, letter I as a solid block letter, then we shouldn't be able to see those rays. We wouldn't see these interior lines. We wouldn't see these interior lines. Um, and instead, what we would see is the bottom here. We would then see this bottom area. We would definitely see this side here, this side there, this side there. And then this one, I'm going to make it slightly darker since it's way at the bottom of the letter. And so then this is what it should be looking like. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and get a little bit closer so that you can see. All right. And so that's what that looks like. We're going to go ahead and just do the same thing with the R. We had our shape. That was the square. Our um, we went in and we drew the actual letter. We freehanded it, cleaned up the lines with the ruler. Now we're going to go ahead and add the rays. The rays will always be connected from the corners to the vanishing point. So here's that. Here's another set of corners. And again, it is possible to get more than four rays because these letters have more than one corner, right? And so then there's actually right here is a slight corner too. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six rays this time. All right, and so now we have our rays. We're going to go in with our vertical line. The first vertical line I'm going to make here. Okay, that'll be the first vertical line. The first horizontal line I'm going to place here, so at the bottom. This would also be... Uh, the bottom right here. There's that horizontal line, right? This is the bottom. This is the bottom from this right here. Technically, it would be down here, but because we cut into the uh, cube or the square, that's why it's actually added up here. Then we go in the next vertical line. Oh. Okay, and then the next vertical line, we're going to go ahead and add it here. And then up here, it should actually be a um, horizontal line, but because the R is curved, we're actually going to freehand the curve here and add it like that. Okay. And we can even take this portion off and curve it from here. And so now we should be able to see the bottom and we should be able to see the sides. And if you actually notice right here, there's this curve, we should be able to see that bottom portion. So we would actually bring up that curve like that. Okay, so sometimes you do have to add a few more of the curves in there because letters do have curves. 
Um, and so sometimes when we're doing one point perspective, not everything is going to be a straight line. So please just keep that in mind as well. All right, and that's it. Thank you.